हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सी एस एन एट फेब्रुरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दोज ऑर्डनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स इन दिस लेक्चर द लास्ट लेक्चर वॉज ऑन द कम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन रियल एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन लीनियर एलजेब्रा एज वेल एज द इनर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस क्वेश्चन विच आर आस इन दी फेब्रुरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑल वी हैव डिस्कस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स नो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द ऑर्डनरी differential equations you can find all those previous lectures in my youtube channel dr harishkar where this is the link where you can find the various others previous lectures are so let's start with this one is there so this is the question number 1 that's the of the part b so it means there is only one option correct option is there so how you can find the solution of this differential equation that's the second order differential equation so this zero means this is my homogeneous now clearly says that this is a non constant coefficients are there and if you think about that is it a cauchy euler equations no why because if it is a cauchy euler then the coefficient of the y double dash must be the x square and the coefficient of the y dash it must be x but it is not there then how you can do that the one way that you may think uh, when you studies that you can think about but is a p plus q x is 0 then you can find the root one solution then or here or p plus q 0 and 1 plus p and then so on but here you can clearly say that there is a very large lengthy step r how you can solve this problem in a very quick manner with the help of the shortcut trick so what is the shortcut trick when you are thinking of finding the second derivative of this solution r so now first of all we need the value at the point 0 so you can substitute directly at x is 0 in this equation so the first part will be 0 the second part will be my y dash Plus y zero is zero. What is the value of the y zero is one. So it means y dash of zero is my minus half. This is one equation. Now how you can find this y double dash? So what you can do? You can this differentiate with respect to the x. What is the answer of this? When you differentiate this with respect to x, it will be here plus four x y triple dash plus two y double dash plus y dash is my zero. now again you can substitute x is my 0 what will happen this is my 4 y double dash 0 this will be 0 2 y double dash 0 plus y dash 0 is 0 now you can see what is the y dash of 0 is minus half it will be my 6 y double dash 0 is my 0 so what is the answer of the y double dash 0 is nothing but my 1 by 12 so you can see this is very quickly shortcut to explain that whatever the point they have given to you you can substitute directly into the equation and then again in order to find the y dash y double dash but here you can see the coefficient is not there you can differentiate them and then you will get the required answer there is no need to find the complement solution there is no need to find the particular integral solution you can solve it very easy man look for the next one are there this is again the 490 this is a part b question again so only the one correct answer is there so what is given to you there is a two differential equations are given to you with some initial condition and the solution a will blow up what is the meaning of the blow up that means the solution will goes to the infinity when for the particular time because this is the independent variable is t when t approaches to some point t0 then solution will goes to the infinity so we have to check which one either the solution of this goes to the infinity or this one that's a very simple are there what is the meaning of the infinity that means solution is my unbounded so if i look for this option if i able to find what is the shortcut i just tell you the shortcut without the calculation if i prove that any of the differential equation is by bounded then definitely they will never goes to the infinity and you knows that how you check the bounded we can simply take the modulus sign if it is less than of something then it's a bounded so now we can apply that shortcut tricks so we can see dx upon dt the first differential initial value problem what is that this is x cube it can never be less than of the something because x is my domain of that so it means this it can be the unbounded or cannot be what about the second one is dx upon dt what is that this is x sin of x square so it will always be less than of the sin here why because this value is always be less than 1 so it means that what is that this is my bounded why is bounded if you look about the graph of this this is the mod x is there and everywhere the is a bounded see graph is always be less than of this so it means this is my bounded once it is a bounded it can never goes to the infinity it means it will not be blow up 
सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट द विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज टू बी इज नॉट ब्लो अप बी सो द स्टेटमेंट इज बी इज ब्लो अप सो दिस इज माई फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट सो द सेकेंड इज फॉल्स इधर दिस इज दिस इज कैंसल आउट एंड वट वोट दैट बोथ सॉरी दिस इज माई फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट so it means this option is cancel out this option is cancel out now we have to look about the whether the first solution is there now in by using the bounded we are unable to get that so how you can do that you can simply solve it that's it now you can integrate them what will happen this is my minus 2 upon minus 2 is t plus of say c by 2 so what is that this is my here t plus c of 2 so 2 will be cancel out initial condition x 0 is my 1 so what is that when is zero so what is the value of the c c is nothing but uh, this is my t t is zero and x is one so it will be my one is two into zero plus c so c will be my one so if you substitute here you will get as a two t plus one so x so clearly c is that what is the meaning of that is will be my here so it will goes to the zero whenever t is my minus half so that means it will goes to the infinity it means this is my true statement so the first is true second is false the right answer is my b is the simple now look about the another one is there so it is given to the initial value problem so this is the differential equation is given to you y dash is nothing in the form of the fxy and this is the initial condition is given to you which is computed by the euler method step size is my here so that's a very simple question is there so they are simply ask about the error bound so that's a straight forward question about that we all know that this is a shortcut fix for you so that is the error bound for the euler method is nothing but here what is the m is the maximum value of this second derivative l is my nothing but the lipstick so we can simply do that what is the a t is where you find that is a point 8 so if you look about that what is the l firstly we can find the value of the l partial derivative with respect to y so what is the y is here this is my f what is the partial derivative with respect to y is a 1 so it means l is my 1 so once l is 1 if you look about here this is 1 t is my point 8 a what is the a is a that is a lower limit what is the lower limit is my a is my 0 b is my 2 so t minus 0 minus 1 what is the answer of this is point 8 minus 1 so this option is cancel out this option cancel out now these are the either of them are now we have to look about this what is the h h is given to is a point 4 m we will calculate l is my 1 and this is my point 8 minus 1 so clearly say that it will be point 2 times m of this now it can be there so if if i go m is my nothing but my 1 by 2 then it will be the answer it will be here now what is the m m is nothing but the second derivative so what you can do we simply find the value of the m so how you can do that we can see i can write this value of this form now what how you find the value of y dash so i can see this number is nothing but my here so what is the solution of this so that's a complementary solution is c1 e raised to power t what is the particular solution that is nothing but my here how you can solve this part this is c1 e raised to power t so i can take minus as common this is my minus 1 of t square minus 1 so 1 minus t square this is my This is my one minus t square. So I can take an d as a common. Sorry, minus as a common. This will be one minus t square. Now it's a, that's over. So what is that? This is c one e raised to power t. What is that? This is one plus d. Since the highest power is the d square, so I can simply write up to here of this. So this is minus one minus t square. The first derivative is my minus of two. Second derivative is my here. So what is that? C one e raised to power t. So it will be minus minus plus of t one plus whole square. Now what is given to you? Initial condition is my y zero is my half. So if you substitute here, this will be my c one plus of one. So c one is nothing but my minus half. So I can substitute here. C one is my minus half. You will get this answer is minus one by. Now. what is the remaining part you have to find the maximum value of this so what is that so what is the y double dash if you look about that it will be my minus of this what is that second derivative of this is my 2 now clearly says that what is that this is 2 minus 0.5 of e raised to power t now what is the maximum value of this over the interval 0 t it always be less than of 
टू माइनस टू ई रेस पावर टू माइनस ऑफ टू बिकॉज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू इज दैट माई पॉइंट टू सो दैट विल बी माई हेयर टू ई स्केयर माइनस टू दैट इज माई सॉरी पॉइंट फाइव इट विल बी पॉइंट फाइव ई स्केयर माइनस ऑफ टू दैट इज नथिंग बट माई एम सो एम विल बी माई हेयर एच इज माई पॉइंट फोर सो राइट आंसर इज माई सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन लुक अबाउट दिस वन सो Uh, we have to uh, solve this so that's the uh, extremal are there what is that that this is nothing it, if i call this is my f so this is the partial derivative with respect to y minus partial derivative of this with respect to y dash is zero so what is the partial derivative with respect to y is a minus of 2x partial derivative with respect to f y dash is a 2 y dash is zero what is the meaning of that y double dash plus x is my zero now there are the two way you can solve this by the ci or by a pi but i just simply tell you the shortcut tricks start from here if y is my here what is the second derivative of this so you can clearly say that it's my 20 x 4 x cube by 5 now clearly say that second derivative plus x will not be a zero so this option cancel out similarly this is the second derivative is zero this derivative is not be x it's cancel out what is the second derivative of this the first derivative is my here Plus seven by six. Second derivative is my minus six by six x r there. Plus of this, you can see this will be there. So the right answer is my C. You can again verify that this will not be satisfied. This is my here plus of x. This is not true. The right answer is my C. There is no need to solve this by with the help of the PI or complementary function and don't just satisfy this option into here. You will get the right answer as C. Look at the another one are there. So now this is the quadrature formula. There's a numerical method are there, which is the degree less than or equal to two. What are the basis of this? Any polynomial which is of here a plus b x plus c x square. So I can simply take the basis as one x and x square. So that's a very simple. Firstly, I can take f of x is my one. If I substitute this value here, what is the integration of this? That is nothing but my two. What is the a of minus one is a. What is the f dash? F dash is my zero, so it's a b of zero plus c of zero. So the answer of a is my two. Now for the second pair, f of x is my x. If I substitute here, the integration of this is my zero because it's x square by two, it's a zero. A of one, so a of minus one. What is the f dash? F dash is my one, so it's f dash of zero is my this plus what is the f dash of this is my c. So what is that? This is my minus a. Plus b plus c. You can see that this is oh, sorry. This is not zero. This is one, minus one to one x. So x square by two from minus one to one is a one by two minus one by two is a zero. So a is my two. So what is that? B plus c is my two. Now I need the value of the a plus b. B plus c is two. This is also my two. So the right answer is my four. Is the correct answer is that. That is the a option. That's a very straightforward. Look at the another here. So again, I will tell you the shortcut tricks about that. So what is the shortcut tricks in this? So they are talking about the Ronskin. So what is the shortcut tricks? Is that we all knows that if when the Ronskin is zero, then the vectors are L-I. When the Ronskin is non-zero, then it is a L-D. If Ronskin at some point is a positive value, then the Ronskin is always with a positive for all x. If Ronskin at some point is a negative value. Then the Ronskin is always with a negative value for all x. These are the concept behind the allies. Now look over there. If Ronskin is zero, if Ronskin is zero, then they are. Sorry, it's it's a reverse. If the Ronskin is zero, then it's a LD. If Ronskin is non-zero, then it's a L line. So here, if the Ronskin is zero, then it must be LD. But they are talking about the L line. So this option is cancelled out. W can change the sign. It is not true because you can see if. Ronskin can never the change sign. If at the initial at any point is a positive, then for all the values also the positive. So it means they can never change the sign. Ronskin is zero for the some point implies Ronskin is zero for each one. That's also true because if the Ronskin is zero, that is a true statement. If Ronskin is the plus one, then it is always the plus one. That is not true. What is the plus one? Is it means it's a greater than zero. Then it can any value, but it must be the greater than. So this option is also cancel out. Although this part C, the correct answer is only the point. So this is the remark for you. You just remember. So that's meaning whenever you draw the graph of the Ronskin, if it is a positive, then it's always positive. If it is a negative, then it's always be the negative. It can never be the passive or the differential. 
so these are the simple solutions of this that's a right answer so i hope you can simply learn the various shortcut tricks in this video you can apply in the next, next coming csn examination for this here till then you can simply find the various lectures on the previous one related to the 2019 17 20 and here we related calculus of various cal complex analysis inner product probability ordinary differential equation you can watch the previous lectures and many more in my playlist csn net channel name dr harish ka till then i hope you can simply like share and comment this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning